Get started with Google Analytics in three simple steps. First, sign up for a Google Analytics account. Second, install the provided code across all pages of your site. Third, if you're using Google AdWords, link it to your Google Analytics account to report on cost and click data. There are two places you can sign up for a Google Analytics account. You can go to google.com slash analytics and click the Sign Up Now link. Or, if you're already an AdWords user, you can create a new account via Google Analytics under Reporting. Google Analytics uses a combination of JavaScript and first-party cookies to gather anonymous data about your visitors. As you set up your Google Analytics account, you'll be provided with a tracking code. You'll need to install this tracking code across all pages of your site. If you need to access your tracking code later on, you can find it by going to Analytics Settings and clicking Edit next to the profile. You'll be taken to the Profile Settings page. Click the Check Status link in the top right corner to be taken to the page that contains your tracking code and brief instructions for how to install it. This page gives you the asynchronous version of the Google Analytics tracking code. The asynchronous version of the tracking code allows your site to run at its fastest, so we recommend that you always use this version. Throughout this course, we use the asynchronous tracking code whenever we illustrate a tracking technique. Traditional GA.js tracking is still used on many sites. To see the traditional GA.js syntax, navigate to the URL shown in the slide. Be sure to replace the X's in the code with your unique Google Analytics account number and property index, which will be explained in the next slide. Let's look at the tracking code. This section of the code tells Google Analytics which account this traffic belongs to. The number immediately following the UA dash is your unique Google Analytics account number, and the number following the last dash is the property index. Review the lesson on accounts and profiles to learn about the property index. This section of the tracking code automatically detects secure versus non-secure pages. So you can use the same tracking code on both HTTPS and HTTP pages. The tracking code that is provided to you is designed to work with most site setups. In some cases, however, you'll need to make small updates to the tracking code on each of your pages. For example, if you need to track multiple domains in one profile, track more than one subdomain per profile, or track multiple domain aliases, you should review the module on tracking domains and subdomains and customize your code before adding it to your pages. To install the JavaScript, copy your tracking code, either the code provided during setup or your customized snippet, and paste it into your page. One of the main advantages of the asynchronous snippet is that you can position it at the top of the HTML document. This increases the likelihood that the tracking beacon will be sent before the user leaves the page. It is customary to place JavaScript code in the head section, and we recommend placing the snippet at the bottom of the head section for best performance. Here's a sample. To maintain tracking consistency, it is important that the code is installed across all pages of your site. If you buy keywords on Google AdWords, you can use Google Analytics to see how well your paid keywords perform in terms of conversion rates, revenue, and ROI. You can compare search result positions for each keyword, and you can compare ad performance. To do these things, you'll need to link your AdWords account to your Analytics account. Review the module on campaign tracking and AdWords integration for detailed instructions. Urchin software from Google is similar to Google Analytics, but Urchin runs on your own servers, whereas Google Analytics is a service hosted by Google. If you've licensed Urchin, you can run both Urchin and Google Analytics together on your site. Running Urchin and Google Analytics together gives you a great deal of flexibility and analysis capability. You'll need to make modifications to your tracking code. While this isn't covered in the course, you can learn how by following the link shown in the slide. Once you've installed your tracking code, it usually takes about 24 hours for data to appear in your reports. The best way to verify that you're receiving data is to simply look at your reports. Go to the top content report in the content section and make sure that you see page view numbers for each of your pages. You can also view your web page's source code to verify that the tracking code is installed. Navigate your browser to any page on your site. Right-click within the browser window and select the View Page Source or View Source option in your browser. This will open a new window that contains the source code for that page. Now search for GA.js. 
From the source code menu, select Edit and click the Find option. If you find the Google Analytics tracking code on your page, then it is likely that Google Analytics has been successfully installed on your site. Repeat this process across several pages on your site to make sure that your installation is complete.